Hey, what's up? Operation iDroid here, and a new jailbreak has just come out for iOS 6, and this works on iOS 6.0 through 6.1, and it is an untethered jailbreak, which means you can turn your device on and off, and it will still be jailbroken. And now this jailbreak works with any device as iOS 6, so if your iDevice is running iOS 6, like my iPhone 3GS here, that's running iOS 6.1, then it can be jailbroken. So just check in the settings, go into general, and if you see version 6.0 through 6.1, whichever it may be, then it can be jailbroken with this inv evasion jailbreak. So to do this, we're going to open up our internet browser, and in the URL, we are going to type in evasion, but the O in evasion is going to be a zero. So evasion.com, the O is a zero, as you can see here. Now, when we first get to the website, we're going to click on the corresponding software that we have on our computer. So I'm using a Mac, so I'm going to click on Mac OS 10. And then I'm going to click here to download the attachment, and it will begin. So now, as the download loads, let me show you something on the website that you guys might want to see. So if you scroll down here, you can see the requirements, and the requirements are 5 minutes of your time. Check, we have that. A computer running Windows XP minimum, Max OS 10.5 minimum, or Linux. Check, we have that. An iPhone, iPad, or iPod running iOS 6.0 through 6.1. We checked that already, and we do have that. And a USB cable to connect the iDevice to the computer. Great, we have all of that. So, some important things. Make sure you back up your iDevice to iTunes before doing this. Disable the passcode of your iDevice before you jailbreak. And do not open anything while the jailbreak is going on. And if your iDevice ever gets stuck while you're jailbreaking, don't be afraid to reboot it. It'll be fine and just try it again. Anyways, there is one error with Max OS 10 10.8 saying that evasion can't be opened. Control click or right click the app and on the revealed context menu choose open. On the ensuing dialog box choose open as well. Alright, so now that the download is complete, I'm going to go ahead and go into my downloads going to click on this you guys should have it. it should be look like that it's going to open and on the next page we are going to click on the evasion application so it's right here I'm going to go ahead and click on evasion I'm going to click open and now you'll see it says connect your iPhone 3GS or and as you can see it has just picked up my iDevice but I'm going to connect it through a USB because my dock is not trustworthy as you can see it's on dock so I'm gonna go ahead and take this and put it on this USB cable connected to my computer right here just leave that there and now I'm going to click on jailbreak so it's connecting to the iDevice it's retrieving information from the device to generate jailbreak data and then the jailbreak process will begin and I will be back when it is done. Alright, so there will come a point in the jailbreak where you will need to unlock your iDevice and look for the jailbreak icon. So go ahead and click on that. You will do this when it will prompt you to on the screen as you can see here. And when you click on the icon, your iDevice's screen will turn black and the jailbreak will continue. Then there will come another point when you'll see that the evasion jailbreak says that the jailbreak is complete and restarting will begin. So your iDevice will restart a couple of times and then you'll see different screens come up on your iDevice and just let it be. Patience is the key to this jailbreak, just let it do its thing. Then when all the restarting shenanigans is done, you will be back at your lock screen. So we can go ahead and unlock our iDevice. And we're going to look for Cydia on our springboard. Cydia looks like that. And we're going to go ahead and click on it. And once we open Cydia, it will begin to prepare all of its Cydia goodness. So the file systems and all of that great stuff. And when Cydia is done preparing everything, it will exit or it will reboot your device. In my case, it rebooted my device. However, it works for you. Just be patient. Again, patience is the key to this jailbreak.
And once Cydia finishes reloading all of its stuff, it will either reboot as it did for me, so I'm going to unlock and reopen Cydia, or when Cydia exits, just reopen it. So once Cydia loads and opens, it will ask you to pick who you are. You guys should pick user. I'm going to pick developer because I like that better, but you guys go ahead and pick user. And now I'm going to click done. Cydia will load. And once Cydia loads, you are ready for all your jailbroken needs. So you guys got all the stuff you need for your jailbroken iDevice here in Cydium. So good luck with that. And have fun with your new jailbroken iDevice. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Anyways, if you would like to dive into more cool things you can do on your newly jailbroken iDevice, click on that green subscribe button where I have more videos where I explain things on jailbroken iDevices. Anyways, click on either of the iDevices to dive into more jailbroken stuff. And thank you for clicking that subscribe button and welcome to the operation.